Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about my childhood. And when it comes to my childhood and watching my favorite TV shows and movies, my happiest moments when it comes to my childhood were Barbie movies. And might I say, they were the greatest things blessed on this planet Earth. And my even my own mother would love watching these Barbie movies with me. <laughs> she, she used to love watching Barbie movies with me. That was kind of adorable. Your own mom likes Barbie movies a lot more than your own daughter. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Anyway, I made a whole list on my number one favorite Barbie movie to my least favorite Barbie movie that I have watched. So if your favorite movie is not on this list, I probably haven't watched it. I probably haven't watched it, excuse me. So don't come crying to me if your favorite movie's on this list, okay? So anyway, my number one favorite Barbie movie was Barbie and the Diamond Castle. The characters were great, but my most favorite thing about this movie was the music and the songs that was played in this movie. I remember when I was little, I used to sing these songs and my mom asked me to sing uh, one of the songs from that movie because she said I had a really good singing voice and I would get really embarrassed to sing in front of my parents because, well, I was scared, all right? I had stage fright and I still kind of do. But there was a point in time where I got comfortable singing in front of my classmates because some of my teachers um, play music on their computer. And if any, any of my favorite songs are played on the speaker, it'll get me in the biggest mood. I'll start dancing and singing. It'll get me in the biggest mood possible. You won't even understand. So anyway... My second favorite movie was Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses. Now, when it comes to this movie, I remember my kid brain remembered all of the 12 princesses in this movie. Now, let's see if I can still remember these 12 dancing princesses. And if I haven't and if I haven't memorized all of these um, princesses, I might be a bit rusty. So, let's see if I can still remember all of the princesses. Ashlyn, Blair, Courtney, Delia, Edeline, Fallon, Genevieve, Hadley, Isla, Janessa, Kathleen, and Lacey. I still got it, bitch. I still got it. I thought I was going to be a bit rusty and forget one or two princesses, like one or two princesses, but I still remember it. My memory... It can be good at times, but my family members do say that I have a good memory, and that was really sweet of them, but my memory, it's good, but not the greatest. Anyway, next up is Barbie Mariposa. I remember my mom used to get this movie for me at Walmart or whatnot, and it was really interesting. I really liked that movie. Next one is Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. I remember getting like a DVD where it had like 3D glasses. I remember um, wearing those 3D glasses while watching that movie. I remember like wearing it like once or twice and then after a while it broke. So those 3D glasses were made out of cardboard and plastic. So they were very cheaply made and it didn't really last long. So I continued to watch the movie without 3D glasses but it was still a pretty good movie with or without 3D glasses. Anyway, my fifth favorite is Barbie and the Three Musketeers. Again, best soundtrack that has ever been played in this movie. When you first start up this movie, the very first song that, that plays during the movie, it'll get you in the biggest mood. It'll probably get stuck in your head every now and then too. It is so good. And I still love it. There was a time I um, watched this movie back when I was like 16 or 17 just so I can, you know, get a little nos um, nostalgia and whatnot. So 
it's still fun. I miss those days. Anyway, my next favorite movie is Barbie A Christmas Carol. It's a pretty good movie if you want to watch it during Christmas and get your family members snuggle up by a fire and watch this movie. But my favorite part about this movie was the special features, you know, the behind the scenes and whatnot. That was my favorite part about that movie for some reason. Anyway, my next favorite movie is Barbie Magic of the Rainbow. Might I say, it was okay. Some of these characters in the movie were either okay or pretty annoying. And might I say, when I define annoying, I would have to pick this some of these characters in the movie. But it, it's my personal opinion. So if this movie's your favorite, well, don't come, don't come crying a little bitch shit, all right? Sorry, I said that. Anyway, next up is Barbie and the Mermaid Tale. I remember my mom got this for me for like a little surprise or something. And I enjoyed it. It was pretty good, but not my number one favorite. Anyway, next up, Barbie Mermaidia. Again, some of the characters were okay. Some were pretty annoying. Oh, well. It is what it is when it comes to my own personal opinions, I guess. Anyway, next up is Barbie and a Mermaid Tale 2. Now, it's not as good as the first one, but I still kind of enjoyed it. But still not my favorite, again. Next up, Barbie Princess Charm School. I mean, I remember I used to watch it with one of my best friends. I don't talk to her anymore, by the way, so. I remember I used to own like one or two dolls um, from this movie and they were pretty good dolls and I remember playing with them and whatnot and watching this movie and it was really enjoyable, but still not that great. Anyway, my least favorite movie was Barbie A Fashion Fairy Tale. I don't know if I can recall ever watching this movie. I think I watched it once, but I the only thing I remember from this movie is that I owned a doll from this movie. So I don't know if I can remember watching this movie, but uh, well, it is what it is. Sometimes I can forget some certain things and sometimes I can still remember these things. Anyway, those are these Barbie movies that I have watched. And now that I'm getting older, I still like to think back on my childhood memories. But in reality, I have to remember that I'm getting older and handling more responsibilities day by day. And I'm about to graduate high school and maybe go into college. Who knows? And becoming an adult can be stressful as fuck, you know? If you're an adult and you're having a hard time, you know, going through life, you can always talk to a family member or a close friend because there's always gonna be someone to help you throughout these hard struggles in life. And I know that myself. I know there's gonna be a point in time where I'm gonna have to be on my own and it's gonna be scary, but I have my mom and other family members to help me. And I really do appreciate those people who are helping me, you know, becoming an adult and help and learning new things, you know, it's good to learn new things. And it's also good to be really nice to people because I love being nice to people. Because when it comes to being nice to people, it makes me feel good in the inside. And when I hurt someone's feelings, I start to feel bad about it afterwards. There are some times when I say something that can really offend someone and then I don't realize that I'm offending that person. And then when that person tells me that I offended them, I start to feel really, really bad. Like sometimes I end up losing sleep over it. But in time, I'll learn to get over it and move on with my life because things that I can remember and forget can be really hard and frustrating, but I'll always have someone to talk to and be there for me. And I really appreciate those people who have helped me throughout my life and 
you know, all that jazz, you know? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Sorry for it being so long, but I just wanted to tell you guys about my childhood, just a little bit about it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.